Some of the best male triathletes in the world descended on Montreal, Canada for the latest championship series race. A brand new format too, a super sprint elimination event. 30 men qualified from the previous day. They raced three times in quick succession. The last 10 over the line eliminated in the first two. That left the remaining 10 to fight for gold, silver and bronze. Tactics all important in steaming hot conditions. Amongst the favourites, uh, Vincent Luis of France, despite a disappointing Olympics, where he could only finish 13th. This the first of the three races, and it was Luis out front. He had one of the fastest swims in the mixed team relay in Tokyo, and took off where he left off there. But there was a big group on the bike. It's all going to come down to the run. Others that were fancy, the three Frenchmen, Koenigs, uh, Luis and Beger, and also Haven Wild of New Zealand, who won a, something of a surprise bronze in the Olympics. A large group of men over the line. The big news story here was that Jonas Schomburg missed out, the much fancied German, finishing in 23rd there, as you can see. Alessandro Fabian of Italy, he could only manage 28th, and the veteran, Xiao Silva, the 32-year-old, finished plum 30th of the 30. So that left us 20 for the second race. And no surprise to see Luis and the seven there in the yellow cap, prominent in the water. Also, Hidalgo of Brazil uh, was going well. And this would be a little more spread out than the first race. Remember, only the first 10 would qualify for the final itself. These men racing at just 15 minute intervals, so powers of recovery absolutely critical. And one of those struggling towards the rear of the field at this stage was the Yellow Gaines. Jake Burtwistle on the left hand side of your screen, always a stellar runner, passing rivals as though they weren't there. He would make sure of his place uh, alongside the likes of Luis, Koenigs, Berger. Wild was there as well. And those were the men that were eliminated, including Yella Gates. That was the big story, really. Aaron Royal out too. Tom Richard on debut would be pretty pleased with a 15th place finish. And Hidalgo, who'd led in the water for some of that race, finished in the worst place possible, 11th. Just one spot out of qualifying. This then, the final race uh, on Saturday. Just the 10 men fighting it out for the medals. We knew that Luis was going to be in front early in the water. Seth Ryder of America also going well. Ryder, the only man in the field who'd come through the record charge. So he had an extra race on the Friday. A very creditable effort from the American. All ten uh, were together on the bike pretty much. It was all going to be decided over a 2,000 metre run. Jake Berkowitz would just struggle a little bit there in transition, and gave the others a bit of a start, and up front, after a while, there were five. The three Frenchmen, Serazione uh, of Spain, a real up-and-comer, and it was Koenigs who won the sprint ahead of Luisa Beger, a French 1-2-3, only the second time ever there'd been a podium clean sweep on the men's side after Norway did it in Bermuda a few years ago. Excellent from Van Riel in fourth, Wild, a very creditable six. And uh, Seth Ryder and Kevin McDowell, the two Americans. McDowell actually had an injury. Let's hope it doesn't keep him out of the grand final. Koenigs, though, was delighted. Dorian, congratulations. At the end of a hard weekend, to be able to pull out a finish like that is quite something. How are you feeling? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I feel very good. He uh, was. Yes, uh, a very hard weekend, already four races, maybe one to, to go with the relay. It's crazy, but it's nice. I like when it's fast, uh, I like this kind of racing. And it's really, very really nice to be in the podium with Vincent and Leo. It's like just French. It's a great feeling. Only the second time uh, that Peugeot has got onto a podium. He was very happy with the bronze. He said he was absolutely spent at the end of that race. That's all Luis will take silver. He said he's now pain-free. We know he's had a bit of a niggle. 
can well have explained why he was a bit oh, below par tonight. in Tokyo. Just the second ever win on the championship series for Dorian Konitz, who was successful in Bermuda a couple of years ago, but it does just show the power of French triathlon. There's the current standings. Yi couldn't be caught this weekend. He can be next weekend, though, in Edmonton. Blumenfeld will be there, too. And Real Wild and Berger all have chances of taking the title. Battle reconvenes across Canada. Yeah. A rare scene 